Photoshop allows you to Photoshop images. If you click on an existing anchor point with the pen tool in Illustrator, that point will be deleted. The Shape Builder tool is an easy tool to combine shapes in your Adobe Illustrator document. In Adobe After Effects, using symbols can reduce file size and maintain consistency. In Adobe Illustrator, we create our designs and illustrations on artboards. In Adobe Photoshop, in order to use the Clone Stamp tool, you must first choose a source point by holding down the Option key and clicking. In Adobe Illustrator, to exit out of isolation mode, click the Escape key. He's the best teacher ever. Adobe Premiere Rush lets you export your videos directly to YouTube. Para crear un PDF usando Adobe Illustrator, se va a files, a guardar como y a PDF. How to speed up or slow down a video in Premiere Pro. Uh, you want to right click the clip you want to speed up or slow down and scroll until you get to speed and duration and then change the number as shown in the box to make it higher or lower to slow it or speed it up. In Adobe Photoshop, the lasso tool lets you select objects. Adobe Premiere Rush is a lot easier than an Adobe Premiere Pro, although Adobe Premiere Pro has a lot more options like camera stabilization. In Adobe Illustrator, we create our designs and illustrations on art boards. Adobe Illustrator is the best Adobe software to make vector-based graphic art. No, it's not. Para exportar en Photoshop, tocarle File y exportar como y luego elegir el cosito. To turn an image into vector art in Illustrator, you have to rasterize the image, then image trace, and then expand the image. In Adobe Illustrator, we create our designs on artboards. Adobe Premiere Pro allows you to make a video and edit. Your pencil is vector-based. In your image. Adobe After Effects allows you to uh, edit the time of videos. The Illustrator tool that is shown as a white arrow is known as the Direct Selection tool. Photoshop allows you to change the opacity of images. Uh, pressing control plus an arrow key lets you cycle through frames. After Effects is a program primarily used for video effects, motion graphics, and composition. Darken is a blend mode in Adobe Premiere Pro. In order to work non-destructively on Photoshop, use layer mass. The two overlapping boxes on the bottom of Adobe Illustrator control fill and stroke. The spacebar in Adobe Premiere Pro pauses and unpauses. The three primary colors are red, yellow, blue. You can edit an effect in a clip by going to the effect controls panel in Adobe Premiere Pro. Adobe Illustrator terminology for drawn lines is paths. In Adobe Premiere Pro, when you create a subclip, nothing happens because the subclip does not create a new file on your hard drive. Just like In Adobe Premiere Pro, you use the timeline panel to assemble a new sequence of clips. The default video transition in Adobe Premiere Pro is cross-dissolve. In Adobe Premiere Pro, the default transition is cross-fade and cross-dissolve. The algorithm that encodes and decodes video is the codec. Sharpen is the adjustment that brings back edge detail in video clips. You can import Adobe Rush project files into Premiere Pro, but not the other way around. The file extension type for After Effects is .aep. In Adobe Premiere Pro, if an effects has a star icon in it, it is a preset. You can use both the marquee tools and the quick selection to make a selection in Adobe Photoshop. To restore edge detail in Adobe After Effects, look under the Lumetri Color Effects tab and click Sharpen. To adjust anchor anchor points in Adobe Illustrator, you use the direct the minimum DPI for photographic quality inkjet printing is 300. Selection tool. To quickly arrange the panels in Adobe Premiere Pro for specific tasks, use workspaces. Wow. <coughs>
in Adobe Photoshop, if you want to use a smudge tool, look for the picture that looks like a finger. The default video transition in Adobe Premiere Pro is cross dissolve. In Adobe Photoshop, you can use neural filters to access tools like skin smoothing. The minimum resolution for images printed on inkjet printers is 300 dpi. If you save any Photoshop file to the Adobe Cloud, you can access it on any computer.